Hello people all over the web and YouTube, Did here, welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. Anyway guys, a couple of things have gone down, as you can tell by the quick little montage I'm throwing here on screen. I'm at my house, and I am currently playing this game on my Surface tablet, so expect the video not to be too clear, and expect a whole lot of things to go wrong. But yeah, with that said, I just couldn't help myself. I had to come back to the game, even if I don't have my Blue Yeti here and my normal camera that I record on. Right now, I'm using my new DSLR, so if the video looks a little weird, sorry. I'm still kind of getting used to it, but hopefully we'll get some good audio out of the shotgun mic on it. Well, anyway, since I've already attempted to record this once and I've actually corrupted the video by mistake, I'm here having to redo this again, but I already got a rough idea on what I need to do. And I do know this, I can go through the Tesla gates. I was not sure about this before, but I tried it enough and eventually I managed to get through okay. I just hope everything else is managing to go by okay so far. And oh, um, I also figured out a name for SCP-173. I was getting sick of calling him that. and. I spent the longest time thinking about it, and by longest time, I probably mean like 5-10 seconds. Um, since he's made of concrete and all that jazz, I decided to call him Stone Butt, because he's a pain in my ass, and quite frankly, I like the name um, Stone Butt. It's easy to say, and every time he's after me, I think it'll be hilarious to say, ah, I gotta get away from the Stone Butt, but yeah, anyway, I know where... I'm semi going, so forgive me here, and that almost scared me again. Um, just know this, by the next episode though, I will be um, ditching the quick save option, we'll be playing the game on a lucid difficulty, which means we'll have to save at terminals, and it will prevent me from kinda, not necessarily cheating the game, but... You know, like, getting through it as easy as I am now, I won't be able to save every single time I need to. So I'll have to be really careful about what I do. Well, anyway, since I'm already in this, um, loaded game, I think I'm just gonna go through with what I did the last time, which was upgrade all my cards. Oh god, I got that guy on me again. By the way, when the camera jerks itself like that, it's not me doing it. That's another SCP that follows you outside your peripheral vision. Meaning, he's always there with you. He's worse than SCP-173 in that sense, but he cannot kill you as far as I'm aware. I mean, he can influence your death. So if 173, or AKA Stony Butt, is right in front of me, and this SCP decides to turn my head and look away from him, that's when he kills me, so. He is by far the worst enemy in the game, in my opinion. Because you never see him, and you never know when it's gonna happen. But yeah, anyway, since we're here, um... Let me try to... Upgrade Navigator. I did this right successfully the first time, and it gave me a Navigator with... Unlimited Battery, and it also pointed out where SCP Stone Butt is, and... I think when I get this thing... Oh god, that sounds terrifying. I'm pretty much golden when I get this, I'm sure. And there's another thing I wanted to do, which I didn't do, but I have, however, found out I could do, is you can upgrade the gas mask, and if you do that, sure, you can't see a damn thing in it. But if you do it right, which I probably won't do, let's face the facts, I'm probably gonna turn this thing into the goddamn charcoal or something. If you do it right, you gain unlimited sprint, and that is excellent, especially when you have um, stone butt chasing after you. And um, what's the other guy? The other guy that runs through walls and crap, I'm just gonna call him Harry Potter, I guess, till I figure out his real name. Yeah, this will help you run away from that guy really good when he pops up. And I think I did it right. Oh yeah, I did it right. Okay, this is it, you see? It looks like it works, but when you get to a certain percentage like I did now, it just does not take any more stamina away, which is freaking sweet. Well, 
You know what? I'm not gonna spend all my goddamn time in this room. I'm only gonna upgrade one or two more things and we'll head out. So let me do that, and if anything interesting happens, I'll be back with you. Oh god, okay, I thought that was the door opening. Holy fuck, that scared me. Okay, um... Nothing interesting happened yet, but I am trying to get the last thing I want out of this machine, which is the Omni card. When you get this, you can unlock any door pretty much to any SCP. But the thing is, it's a hard fucking thing to get out of this machine. I don't even know if it's still in the game. I just remember it being in the game from like, god damn, four years ago? Is that is that it? That's when I'd like to say this game came out. I couldn't record it then, though. And I could hardly record it now, by the way, but if I had my normal computer here, sure, I'd be tearing it up right now. Well, anyway, I think this is it. If this isn't it, I'll probably be stuck here for another 20-30 minutes. And in that case, I'm just gonna, um... I don't know, maybe cut the video to when I get the card. Well, F it. Okay, I couldn't get the card, guys, but I do have to hurry up. I am sorry, I'm almost out of time. After recording this once, I drained the battery in my camera a hell of a lot, okay? So... I probably only have like 10 seconds to finish this. I don't even know. I don't even know what that battery symbol is on my camera. So with that said, since I lost my night vision in the last episode, if you guys didn't notice that, if you go through the looping hallway, you're, you will lose items or they will be replaced with other items. And sometimes, um, if you loop enough, you actually change the SCP skins and stuff which is pretty cool, and I forget what else happens, but a whole bunch of other kick-ass things happen. And oh yeah, sorry if the game gets dark, um, I got the gas mask on. So I'm just gonna sprint through here really quick, find some fucking switches hopefully, and hopefully get out of here on my first go. I'd like to say first go, but I doubt that will happen. Oh, fuck you. Did you see? Oh, I ran right into you. Am I an idiot or what? God damn it. Okay, you know what, guys? Um, sadly, I'm gonna have to leave this here. I gotta charge up the camera. Um, it's a great camera. I'm still messing with it, but it's probably the only camera I could use to film in here right now because there's no light at all. I need to get a lamp or something and to change this bulb out. It almost burned out on me a few times now. <laughs> So yeah, this is probably an excellent stopping spot. I know not a whole lot happened, but I think I quick saved that. So if you want to see me keep doing the cheaty saves that I'm on where I quick saved every five minutes, let me know. But I'm most likely going to go into a new game, set it to a lucid, and then just continue this from the beginning. Collect everything again and play the game the way it was meant to be played. But yeah, like I said, before my camera and audio both die on me, I'm gonna leave this off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. Well, 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 it looks like we're at a bit of an impasse. Um, I'm just gonna save. Wait a minute, are you looking at me, officer? I can't quite tell. Give me a second to figure out if you're looking.